Uh, the law of attraction operates upon your collective soul condition right at this moment. It's just the areas which you become aware of that, that you probably deal with firstly. So the truth is, right at this moment, you might have a hundred different emotions you have yet to resolve. Right? And if you do, the law of attraction will be bringing to you lots of different events in your day-to-day -day life to trigger every one of those hundred emotions. Really? Yeah. Now, often we don't allow ourselves to consider it until we exercise our will to see different ones. And so that's why we deal with one and then we deal with the next and then we deal with the next. Right? But the truth is the law of attraction is actually operating upon your complete soul condition. Not just on the emotion you're dealing with right now. That would depend on how, how much you interact with life. I mean, if you sit in the cave and meditate in, in a puddle of peacefulness, you're not going to talk to anyone, you're not going to meet anybody, the phone's not going to ring. So that's, that's why I don't, happen. That's why I don't recommend isolation. No, no, honestly, if we all went to a monastery for a year, do you think there'd be as many emotions triggered as if you lived down here in Sunshine Coast for a year? No. <laughs> so where's the best place for your soul? In life. Sunshine Coast, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> you think it's the best place, obviously. Your soul does. It's some, you attracted it, right? So this is the best place for you to be. Right? A lot of people go off to a monastery or off to meditation or off to these different things, off to India to find myself or whatever. And the truth is, in a lot of those cases, we do find a portion of ourselves because we have the right attitude at that time to find a portion of ourselves. Right? But the truth is, you can, find a, you can find everything about yourself right here. And in fact, right here is far better because you'll get triggered a lot more here than you're going to be in some monastery in the middle of India. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. How many of you want to run away from your life? Yeah. No. No. Want to get, well, let's say get rid of a good half of it. <laughs> what it's attracting. But you see, it's just like everything that your life is attracting is perfectly aligned to deal with your current emotions. God's laws are perfect. This is the thing to understand about God. God's laws are perfect. The law of attraction is perfect in its operation. Right. So everything that's in your current life right now, you attract it. And it's there to help you expose and experience an emotion. Everything is there to help you expose and experience an emotion. Now, what will you do with it? Are you going to experience the emotion or are you just going to... Dismiss that one and go on to the next one. <laughs> and all of you know what happens in your life when you do that, don't you? Mm -hmm. What happens? Back. Pops up next day or next three days. It's back again, isn't it? And it's back again, it's back again, it's back again. And after a year of that, yeah. And everything starts degrading in your body and you get more sick and unwell because we avoid these laws of attraction that are occurring in our lives. So, Understand that the reason for all fears is because we have these emotions within us that cover over this whole <coughs> list of things we don't want to feel. Right. And it's your choice to not feel that creates all of your inner turmoil. And mine too. <laughs>